Hey guys, you're watching because you one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome to a brand new series. Let's build a cruise ship. A series that has been asked for for about four or five months in the comments section. AJ, you should do a let's build a cruise ship series. And I've heard you, I've heard you. But I've been thinking about how to do it. What would be the best way to do it? Because it is such a big build. Then it hit me. It hit me like a bus hitting a bird on the motorway. That's a terrible analogy, but <laughs> it's pretty accurate. It was like, aha, I know. Uh, I thought, why not do it on the city world, okay? Because number one, that means more city episodes because everybody loves the city. At least all you guys watching love the city. Number two, I've got my world edit so I can easily do things. Be doing it on YouTube is a little bit different to doing it on your own. You need to be quite quick at doing things uh, to get progress. Otherwise, you guys get bored. Uh, and number three, we were going to do a cruise ship on the cr city world anyway. So doing it this way means that I don't need to spend X amount of episodes doing just a cruise ship, focusing on that, instead of doing the other stuff on the other parts of the city. So it's just a win-win-win. And I've got the map as well, so we get to see the... The boat being built from the top-down view. That's pretty cool. So, with a cruise ship, these types of huge, massive builds are quite overwhelming for most people, including myself. I get overwhelmed when I think, oh, this is it's a huge build. Where do I start? How, how do I make sure the shape is right? How do I make sure it's the right height? Well... There isn't really a tip or a key or, or a strategy to it. It's like building a house in Minecraft. Um, there's no real exact place to start. Obviously, don't start with the roof. That sounds like a terrible idea. <laughs> Try and start from the bottom and work up at least with a house. But there's, there's, no, there's no start here, then do that step, then do that step, then do this bit, and then it's done. You have to sort of make it up as you go along and, and find what parts you can do at what time. If you do it wrong, I am fully expecting to do this cruise ship too small at first, or too big at first, or too tall, or not tall enough. So expect me to change it here and there uh, to make it better. But that's the perfect, brilliant thing about Minecraft, especially on creative mode, is that you've got infinite blocks. You don't need to worry about resources. You don't need to worry about reclaiming stuff if you do it wrong. Uh, so where do we start with this? Well, I think we're going to do a similar thing to the spaceship that we'd done not so long ago. You know how we built a skeleton of it at first? So we made sure we had the shape right. Well, I think that's going to be the first step that we're going to do with this cruise ship. It's not going to be as complicated as the spaceship because the spaceship was sort of an all wiggly shape. Cruise ship is a... Uh, is a pretty simple shape. I've got a Google search of cruise ships. And now the great thing about cruise ships is that there's no correct way, correct shape, to them. They're all different. Uh, there's some with helipads, there's some with tennis courts, there's some with swimming pools. I want all of them. I want this to be a huge cruise ship. Uh, but the most interesting part is the back, the rear of the, uh, uh, of the cruise ship. I googled cruise ship rear to see what they look like at the back. And there's no correct way whatsoever. Some of them have a completely flat back, like like completely straight. Some of them have a slightly curved back. Some of them angle out towards, like pointing away from the uh, water. Some of them, or point, you know, pointing away from the boat. Some of them angled in towards the boat, so they're sort of like slipstreamed. Uh, some of them have giant spoilers, like on sports cars. There's no set cruise ships size or, or shape apart from the front which always goes to a point so how are we gonna start this well I think we're gonna grab a lily pad to start off with so we can stick something down it's a lot quicker than using the world edit for it and we're gonna put a snow a lily pad down and a block of snow on top I think this is around the spot of where we want it to start this is probably gonna be the right hand side of the boat and then the left hand side will be over there somewhere I am not joking you when I say this these things are huge. Huge. There's a, a, an image I found on Google of a, a cruise ship going through Venice, you know, the uh, water city. And it made houses look minuscule. These things, I did, never, I did not know how big these things actually were. So I, I couldn't believe it, in fact. I think maybe what we should do is actually come over a fair way and start with the middle. Rethinking my strategy here. I'm going to say, let's say the front of it's going to be about here. And that's also the middle. So, 
Where'd the lily pad go? Somewhere there. Okay, somewhere here. And I'm going to do a complete guess. I shall count the blocks in a minute for you. But I'm going to do a complete guess and say that around there is going to be the top of the sort of main deck of the ship at a complete guess. So at the moment it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks above the water. I think that's probably a nice number to start with. Again, it might be wrong. We might have to move it up. We might have to move it down. Who knows? That's the fun part about doing this. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, but it should be a pretty fun part to it. So, we want to now start the the main angle of the ship. The point. I don't know what you call it. Bow? Is it the bow? Sounds like bow. Bow, bow sounds like a good word. And I think already we're going too sharp. I think we want this to come out more of a, more of an angle like this. It's a wide ship, it's big, so as diagonal as possible. It's probably good to start off with, and then we'll start bringing it out more slowly, like, 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 angling it out more gradually. At the moment it's quite a, a sharp, um, a sharp diagonal. But I think this is a good start. Now, as far as the width goes, let's have a quick guesstimate at a width. I've got a picture of one of the cruise ships here. And there's one, two, three, four, five windows that go across the front. They're long windows. I'm going to estimate maybe between eight to ten blocks each. And there's five of them, so let's say they're eight blocks, that's 40 blocks on the windows alone, with let's say two blocks between, so that's like 40, 50, 60, uh, 40, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60 ish, adding some, probably around 65 to 70 blocks wide. That's, that's pretty wide. In fact, let's see that. So that would be around 34 two blocks in each direction. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Thirty-one, thirty-two. Approximately. That's like a complete guesstimate looking at a real cruise ship picture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Expect that number to change. So at the widest point, that's how wide it's going to be. That actually looks pretty decent. It's a pretty good width. I told you it was big though. I told you it was going to be wide. It's a big, big, big build. But I really like it. I really think that's a good start. I'm almost I'm almost thinking that we shouldn't have a exact point at the front. Um, no, it should, shouldn't it? It should. Made a really cool K on the map. It, it looks quite mathematically technical, doesn't it? Okay, let's come out a few more blocks here. And then if I start rounding this off a little bit more are we sort of at the amount that i would want to start rounding it off let's have a quick look again there's 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 no way to physically start this off to get it dead set perfect like uh, on the first attempt you just have to sort of try there's there's no other way to do it i'm gonna start doing little three ones now and we're in line so that that's a pretty good sort of shaped bow. We'd have a helipad. I want a helipad right at the start here. And because we're on the city world, it means we also have helicopters as well. So that's pretty cool. That's just a bonus. I didn't really think of that. Um, but it is a bonus at least. So we want to come out a few more blocks before we start doing the uh, widening s section. Uh, it's on that one. That looks in line. I think that's in line. I'm usually pretty good at it. Do it. Like this. So you guys know how many blocks wide we're, oops, we're doing it. And you can count yourself how many sections of each like block I'm doing here. I don't know. I'm sort of just matching it up to the other side using a little bit of guesswork. I think that's about in line. 
And I think that's a nice, that's three sets of three. I think we're bang on. I think we're good. So let's just stand back a little bit. You can see on the map the shape of it. And I think that's a pretty good sort of bow shape there. I think that's pretty good. Now, second part. Now we've got this sort of front in is to check the height. Make sure we're high enough off the ground for the size. And I don't think we are. I think we're miles off, in fact. I think we want to be at least twice as tall. The twice as up in the air is what we currently are. So, fortunately, I have the ability to speed this up a lot more than what you probably do. So we're going to run over here. And select that one. I'm probably going to stand on here. Go up a few blocks. Paste up there. I think that's probably a smidge too high now. I think that's a little bit too high. You sort of see the boat go down. It's probably not... Probably not far off, but I, th I I still think it's a little bit too high. Undo. I still can't spell. <laughs> Undo. A four-letter word, and I couldn't spell it. Little. A little bit up, about here. I think there is is about perfect. I really I, I can I'm I'm trying to envision what it's gonna look like and I think that's about right. So now we've got the width and we've got the front, we can now hopefully I guess at first see how long we want this to go. Now there's no shape to the side, they are completely flat sides on pretty much all cruise ships that I've looked at. So we can run this line all the way down as far as we want to go now it's long it's long it's going to be big and i haven't really got a count at the moment uh, i'm just sort of spamming back what we can do is we can count it when we do the other side and then you guys can know exactly how long otherwise you get really annoyed with me about how long things are so we can oops oh that i am zoomed out as far as i can i was hoping that i could use the map maybe to um see the whole boat from above to give a sort of idea on if we're long enough or not but it looks like i'm gonna have to use my own trained eye to do so let's come over here we're definitely not long enough yet we're getting close i would say maybe two thirds of the way so a little bit more now there's lifeboats that we need to do i want to do some jet skis at the bottom, uh, I want to do some, uh, maybe even, you, you know, the speedboat that we done on episode three of the city? Maybe do some of those around it as well. It's just really, really cool. Okay, we're getting about to where I think is good. I think that's a pretty good length. I told you this was going to be big, though. This is huge, way bigger than the spaceship. I'd say the spaceship was about from there to there, if that. This is big. But I think, I th I mean, on the map, looking on the map, that looks to be about the right sort of length for the width. Maybe a little bit longer. I'm looking on an image of a real one. I'm sort of trying to guesstimate a little bit. No, I think I'm going to go a, an, another little section longer. Another little section longer. Take your guesses now. Guess is in the comment section below, how long do you think this is? Make your make your guesses now. Let's add a little bit, and then actually guess so you don't, so it's not like cheating. <laughs> okay, that's going to be about the length. Make your guess now at how many blocks from the um, very corner right there. Okay, so where it starts to curve in from there to there make your guess i'm gonna say i'm gonna say about 130 blocks that's my guess i might be way off i might be pretty close i'm gonna say 130 blocks so let's uh let's see how close we were it's straight off this one so we've got two and two yeah so we've got doesn't really matter. One or two blocks isn't going to matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Was I on 70 or 80? I'm going to say 70. I forgot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 90. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. That was my guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 187, and that's a, uh, that's a little bit wrong, I think. I think I miscounted a couple of times at least. Around 100, between 180 and 190 blocks. How about that? That's a long, long, long... We're at the end of the island, you see, so it's a pretty perfect place to stop. Okay, and then to curve it off at the finish here, again, like I said, you can have straight ones, you can have curved ones, you can have ones that angle towards into the boat, you can have ones that angle out. Um, I think I want to curve... That also goes in a little bit. Something like that. So let's curve this out a little bit here. I want to have some oops, something like this. I think that's a pretty good curve. Something like that. Yeah. That feels about right, so how did I do that? <laughs> how, how did I get that right? First of all, I think we're a little bit offline. Let's um, double check to make sure. From here to here, set dirt. Okay, that's exactly where it starts curving in. Beautiful. So, take that one away. Take that one away. And then those three blocks, then two blocks, two blocks, two blocks, something like that. Three, two, 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 and then a bunch of ones. How many ones exactly? One, two, three ones, it seems. One, two, three, and then a two, and then a two, two, two. Three. A three. And then this should be in line. Which it is! Oh, it's so nice when that happens. Alright, how are we looking then? This goes all the way down here. I want to have some colour. I'm undecided on the colour. Obviously, all, all these sort of ships are white, majority. Uh, but there's always like... Uh, an accent color to it for it to stand out against sometimes it's blue sometimes it's red sometimes it's yellow or orange or green or any color um i'm tied between blue and orange uh, blue and red i think blue would look sick but it would blend into the water i think red would stand out a little bit more um maybe maybe both maybe use red and blue that, that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay, beautiful. So there's the height of the boat and the entire size of the boat at its biggest. We've made sure, very importantly, I didn't mention it at the beginning, uh, but it was pretty self-explanatory. I always do it in this way. Make sure that you have a odd number width-wise. Easiest way to do that is to make sure that you have a one block center, and then you know that that's the the middle, therefore, it's going to be an odd number. The wh Why you do that is because it makes everything else centered. For example, we can do a helipad. I've got hiccups. We can do a helipad in here now. I want the helipad somewhere at the front. Let's just drag this back a little way. Somewhere around here, maybe a little bit more further back. Maybe around there. And let's get some sort of nice grey clay for it to land on. And I think 
probably we can help ourselves a little bit on the size of this or I can help me which can then help you by using one of our helicopters if I put a helicopter down there right on this block if I place it on there oh I want it facing that way now the back we want it to be a little bit forward than that probably want it a little bit bigger than that you want to have a little bit of room I think two blocks in front of the nose two blocks behind the tail would be around a good size then you could land potentially some larger helicopters on there as well so let's drag this out that's like that's in line so one two blocks that gives us a total width of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one block diameter which means one two three four five six seven eight nine oh, i walked away one two three four five six seven eight nine ten that one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten is the dead middle which means we can then go out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh i tell you what there's a quicker way that i can do this there's a much quicker way that i can do this i can stand right here I can do a uh, cylinder of, um, what block is this? 159.9. Cylinder of 159.9. Um, 10 blocks, no. Yeah, so radius of 10, isn't it? 10, one block high. Boop. There we go. So there's a circle in there. The pattern, if you guys are doing it by hand, is uh, 1, 2, 3, is 7 blocks along, then 2 blocks one 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 two blocks seven blocks okay do that all the way around uh again we've done it in a nice large helicopter here because it allows us or it allows the whole ship to land bigger ones bigger helicopters maybe something like this one let's see how big this one is something like uh something like this yeah, and it still lands on there pretty decently. Oh, by the way, I never showed you this. I, I retextured the um, one of the helicopters to be the Zono lifeguard patrol for our city. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot. Yeah, even got the door open there. Lifeguard patrol there. Pretty sick. I like it. Been playing around with textures. So we can have some really big ones land on there if we want. Uh, I think I probably want the H out of white, at least to begin with. Maybe we can... Um, change it to yellow if we don't like it at the end but let's uh, get a decent H shape size I'm gonna do a guess at that for the moment and that's like four blocks five blocks in from the end one two three four five I might thicken this up as well to be like uh, two blocks wide H or even three block wide H No, I mean you can see that you can even see it on the map there. No, I think that's I think that H is about what we would want. Yeah, I think that's about good. Unfortunately, that is all we've got time for this episode. Uh, it was a very important episode to get this shape right. My dad always says his 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 famous catchphrase that he always says to me is, "If you start right, you end right." And he does a lot of woodwork. You see, if you start off with a good sized bit of wood and you work out all the maths as much as you can at the beginning it's going to make it easier for the rest of the build and he's always been right about that he also says uh, measure twice cut once <laughs> but that doesn't really work in minecraft if you guys enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode